What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we're going to be attempting to draw the Mind Flayer. So, <clears throat> from Stranger Things, like a big gooey dinosaur. Okay, so if you followed some of my monster drawings or any of the dinosaur ones, it's kind of like that, except like lots of texture, spikes, teeth, and like ooze or something like goo, right? So, <clears throat> His head is like this triangular shape. By the way, I'm on a landscape page. Pencil, use a pencil and eraser and hit pause if I go too fast. So, we start with the head, right? So, it's basically like a big round sort of thing. <laughs> so, um, it's kind of pointy. So let's just go. So we go, just this bumpy line, right? And we're going, we're aiming up to like this pointy ear, and then it goes back down, right? And like, there'll be all texture in this, but we'll, I'll just add the main shapes first. So this goes back down, and there's all these sticky things that hold it together. So I'll just go to like here, and then this other side here, right? It's all bumpy. Right, and then this comes around here down to the bottom. It's like his chin. If he has a chin, it goes around there, right? And then there's like a line for the top of the mouth or like the lip or something just here. So down here, there's like just this hole, right? That's like open and full of teeth okay so yeah it's like all <clears throat> so it's like all connected so say like the bottom lip it's got teeth right so we'll go we'll just do this bumpy bottom lip right And then the top lip, but there's a gap in the top, right? Because it goes into his head here. Right? Kind of like that. So then we have to just start adding like lots of teeth, right? Layers and layers. It just kind of goes the whole way around, right? There is layers and layers and layers of teeth all inside, so. And this will all eventually go like down to the back of his throat, which is back there somewhere. I'm going to imagine it's here, right? And I'll color this black. I'll put, make this a black hole just back here, and then just nothing but teeth then. All the way back, just these sorts of triangles. All the way back into there right so he has this split like he can add more teeth if you want like he can he can literally keep 
keep going, but we, we'll move on. And he's got this kind of split that's like being held open by all this stitching, right? That like joins his head. This crisscross sort of stitching like this. It's also a dark black in here. Right. So real dark inside this gap, right? So we will shade this. Make this dark just to show it's kind of a hole inside. Right, kind of like that. And then, so do, I don't, I don't think he has eyes, but there's like all these sort of bumps, these sort of circles, and they could be eyes. And all the texture around them. Extra on his mouth and everything like that. Lots of this stuff now. Kind of like that. So then he's got these big arms, right? I won't be able to fit everything in, but we'll we'll get the shape for them. One of them comes out, right? So it's like it's all bumpy. There's all spikes on him and stuff, but we'll just get the main shape in. So like his elbow comes out here, bumps down like that, and then. Say so this will just go down off my page, right? So then, inside of this arm will like join his chest. It's like say elbow or something going that way, and then this sort of bumpy kind of. arm goes off that way and then the chest comes down underneath always sort of bumping and wrinkly and I'll go around the other side and then another sort of shoulder here and then an arm that go like all the way up you could do it both same sides but this one will go off my page and then we just bring it down Side of this the leg goes down here. Goes off there. Then go like that way somewhere. Join that up to the chest. So here. Bumpy sort of thing, and then add we'll add some legs that are hitting the ground down here. So these have like bumpy sort of toes and stuff. So it's down to there, back 
back of that leg here. And then this will kind of bump around. It's not, they're not solid. They're kind of like these weird sort of large toes. Right, he's kind of all tentacles and There should be like another elbow up here. Let's see, that's that leg. Down. Like that. And so there's like a toe here. And this is joined together by skin, like up there as well. Right like that, and say like here as well. Toe. Toe there. Uh, and there's like another leg that just goes like this way, or another sort of tentacle. Okay, so what we got to do now is add like loads and loads and loads of texture and spikes and like gnarly sort of skin shapes and all this kind of stuff, right? So say like, there's actually another do 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 shape there like that. So you'll have sort of spikes all over the body, right? So there's like the spikes here. If you go over any edge lines, you can just erase, right? So like lots of these coming out from his elbows. Like that, like lots. And see the way I'm just drawn right over those edge lines. I'm not worried too much about it because I can erase them. You know, I can raise the lines that overlap that we shouldn't see. All sorts of right, and then there's there's these gaps right in the skin. So say like there, and like here, these sort of open sort of wounds or 
just areas with like teeth and stuff coming out of them. And like stitching on the inside and stuff. So it's got like um, these sort of stitching lines. They're kind of white and then dark in between. So like I'll color the dark areas just so we know. like that right <clears throat> and you just do that on each of these as well. Right, and then every now and then you'll have these sorts of things that have like teeth. Like this kind of stuff, right? Not a lot, but just uh, like enough. So, and then these sort of toes of his have all this kind of webbing coming across it, right? So we've got like these. These kinds of things. <clears throat> Here. And of course, if you go over any lines that you shouldn't see, you can just erase. And so like all these gaps will have That kind of thing, and maybe some on this, maybe as well. Right, going over all that now. So, once you add those three types of textures the teeth, 
the crisscross patterns. I'll just add another set of teeth here. Then what we got to do is add texture all over, right? So you're going to add, say like coming out from the chest, you're going to add all these bumpy craziness, right? Dots and dirt and everything just wrapping around this guy. Like there's no, there's just, it's just all around. There's no easy way of doing it. You just got to start adding it, right? Lots of this texture all over. Maybe some dark parts. So I'm just going to do this real quick, just so we get a sense of what we're dealing with. And he's real gnarly, so like all dots and holes and stuff like this. And then <coughs> dots and just clean up maybe some of the main parts, you know, thicken up those edge lines of his arms just to make him stand out from all your all your texture lines Right, loads of this, you just keep going. There's no easy way of doing it. Crazy amounts of texture and thickening up the edge of his arms and his body and all this kind of stuff. And you just kind of keep doing it, you just keep going until you know you can't stand no more kind of thing like some of these circles and things do help like this these kind of half circles this kind of thing and you can see how fast i'm going here i'm not i'm not being real careful i'm not Because his skin is pretty crazy, you know, when you look at the pictures. So if you go crazy, that kind of helps. You know, just kind of. Right, but I think I'll have to leave it there. That's how to draw the mind flare from Stranger Things. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.